the day. From Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. This is the NFL on EA Sports. It's the New England Patriots taking on the New York Jets. Well, the radar says the heavy stuff still a few hours away, but snow is falling as we near kickoff at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Today, we've got an AFC East matchup between the New York Jets and the New England Patriots. Set for football now from snowy Massachusetts. And we are underway in Foxborough. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. So here come the Patriots getting ready on offense. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. Mac Jones absolutely believed in him. coming out of high school went to Alabama despite the fact there are many high profile quarterbacks already on the roster and blossomed into a Heisman Trophy candidate in his final season with 41 touchdowns and only four interceptions steady consistent as a passer doesn't have the biggest cannon for an arm but can stretch the field and lay those passes in on the deep ball and he can only manage to get a couple second and eight coming up the last run got a couple here second and eight down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this day, has got to be priority one. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. Let's not quibble cool about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Faced with their first third down conversion opportunity and able to punch it through and pick it up on the ground. And to me, putting it on the ground sends a different type of message than throwing the football. And, you know, let's face it, we've done a lot of games together. How often have we seen third down turn into an automatic passing down no matter what the yard is? Yeah, and last thing you that opening drive to go three and out. You got everything scripted, lined up. Let's get some points on the board. They're able to avoid that three and out. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where Every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Going play action here with Zappi. Complete Hunter Henry to the ground. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be fourth down. On fourth down, it's Zappi. The catch is made. And he is going to pick up a Patriots first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and 10. Montgomery back to the ground. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. 
second and two. But you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while, because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. And he's going to be taken down at about the third. but I have to admit it. I liked what I just saw there. That rookie wasn't afraid of absorbing a big hit. You don't want to see him taking those shots all game long, but he picked up the first down, kept fighting for yards, and was willing to embrace some contact to keep the play moving. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Well, this is what you want to see from your rookie quarterback on an opening drive, Charles. He looks cool. He looks calm. He looks collected and marching them down the field. And Brandon, I just think the game continues to change and evolve because we're calling these guys rookies. But you know, they've thrown the football so much at a younger level now. Way more than what we saw the guys came into the league when you and I came through. And also, just the way in particular to him, Charles, how he handles himself in meetings, just so professional, mature. Looks like he's been in the league five years. Yeah, he cares about the game. He cares about his performance, and it's showing. And a quick throw here. That's complete. That'll give him eight that time. And third and one now. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far in the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. So give to the tight end, Kelsey. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. They'll run with strong. And he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriots score. Patriots are on the board first here this afternoon. Just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. The point after, no gimme in the snow, but it's up and good. And it's now a 7 0 game. That one was an extended drive. 14 plays all told. And it was Pierre Strong who finished things off with a touchdown run. Polk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by their quarterback who played his college ball in Western Kentucky. He was a hilltopper. It's Mike White. And you'd think as a young QB there'd be some nerves leading an offense out to start a game, but haven't seen any sign of them right now. And speaking with him earlier this week, sense that the pressure wouldn't get to him. He feels comfortable being the face of this offense and shouldering the expectations on game day, even if he doesn't quite the years of experience other quarterbacks do. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. All again on second down. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up from the shotgun here's white and he will not be able to hang on to the contact it's incomplete the coverage strong and now it's fourth down now the jets send on braden man to punt the deep to return it is marcus jones and he'll get this away into the icy winter air a 41-yard punt there with no return, and the Patriots take over. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. 
They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Here's Strong to begin the drive. And he's able to play. is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Zappi fakes a handoff, looks to throw it. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. and 10 it's strong and he'll get what he can up the middle three yards that'll bring up second down yeah i don't know if it's exactly a win-win but if you're on offense you'll take that kind of a run all right it was kind of stacked up found a little bit of yardage and frankly they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense the playbook is still open for the coordinator zappy's throw into the hands of henry here and he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the fourth six-yard line. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. Zappy looking to throw it on first down. Right back to Henry, and Henry's got and they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. They'll come up now on second and a yard. Back to the ground with Strong. And he stopped immediately there. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Now this is Kelsey, a tight end carry. The pickup there, five yards. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. On right, first down, here's Zappi. And this will be incomplete. Physical play football there and it's second down so after the incompletion on first now second and ten on second down to run with strong and so we're moving it over and he'll take it into the end zone for a patriot touchdown pierre strong with his second touchdown of this opening quarter and the patriots lead this now 13 nothing here in the opening quarter Impressive drive, so they're two for two, two touchdowns. Charles, a great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words has really worked its way into our Mexican is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, defense held, forced to punt to get the ball back, and they've played awfully well in this one. Both sides playing at optimum level. Extra point up and good by Folk, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. This will be fielded inside the five. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. Now Hall to start the drive. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. They'd love to just strike back the touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. From the 30 on second down. White. He finds Corey Davis. Down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. On 
first and ten, it's Hall. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. Second down. Now White. That's complete. It's Elijah Moore. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 34-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. On first down, it's White. He gets it underneath to Hall. And they'll work this down inside the 30. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. there on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Hall. And he's going to get the first down as he covers up after a pretty good shot there. Fourteen nothing to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. to Hall. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. They'll run with Carter. And he's brought down right at the 5-yard line. Give him two on the play. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. And the ball smacked down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. Some explosiveness just about getting them into the end zone. The ball mere inches from the white line on third and goal. They'll try again. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Donovan Knight. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And the Jets are back within a score. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it ends with a Jet touchdown. This game back with it, a touchdown now as the kick walks away. Fielded just outside the goal line. Brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Zappy and the Patriots come up here first and 10 at their own 24. First and 10, Zappy. Over the middle, 
incomplete. It's Myers. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Uh, give up the middle to Strong. And they get him down. Now the 40 takes it across the 40-yard line. 53 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. Zappi to throw on first down. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. He took a shot there, but boy, was that ill-advised from my viewpoint. Coverage was awfully tight. How did he get away But that would not be picked off? And he'll get maybe a couple, if that, up to the 46. When we talk about the future, specifically linebackers keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try to fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place but you're right about that one he correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play that could be tough. this defense needed to get them back on track they've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half after that possession now they know that they can compete with this offense let's get off the field D. let's get off the field Zappy throwing forward on fourth throw left side complete that's Henry going to pick up a Patriots first down as they manage to convert and yeah, that'll keep the drive alive. Straight ahead is strong. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 15 yards is the pick up there and a New England first down. Zappy now on first and ten. That one almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. There, and it'll be second down. Here's a give to Strong. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You first see incompletion, then a very short pick. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Zappy on third down. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And this is caught. Touchdown. Patriots. Mike Evans. 30 yards. And the Pats have taken a two-touchdown lead now. talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball is usually the best pitch, and we saw it there. Full connect extra point and it's now 21 to 7. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And this will be a touchback. Mario's deciding not to bring it out. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And this not an easy situation. You're down early in the elements. You're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? Well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness. Maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature. Go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert. 
balls and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. Fair catch, single four, and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return, and they will take over first and 10. Zappi and the Patriots come up here first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll start with a handoff to Strong, and he'll be tackled at about the 35. 78 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Play fake. And now here's Zappi. Open man down the field is Henry. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 23 yards to pick up there. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your right end. Rolling to his left. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, the best don't mind making tough throws, but that was a real difficult one right there. Out of the pocket, trying to beat double coverage. More times than not, that's going to end up as an incomplete pass, if not worse. A handoff for Strong. And he's got some space here. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26 yard line. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because. He is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the full point of their On the defensive side, to start making plays. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because he's doing that kind of work. Scrimmage the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Touchdown, Patriots. Devontae Parker, a 15 yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots take a three touchdown lead. On that connection, it looked like they made some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback-receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage. When they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. Well, not one you see often there as he fails to keep it between the sidelines and that is a penalty every time and going to give this offense better field position. And it's every kickoff guy's nightmare, isn't it? Because you don't see yourself. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They have not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at it. Now this one complete to Corey Davis. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. 
on first and ten, White. That's complete, right around the eight. So five yards here, five on the play. Bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. To throw again on second down. White. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit it just as he let that go. And now it's third down. The Jets on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and five. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. On fourth down, they'll try and run for it. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Brees Hall taking it in from four yards out. And the Jets' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Zerline good with a PAT. And that cuts the lead to 28-14. A drive that time of six plays. And it was capped off by a Brees Hall touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? He said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well, and he's been right. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the field. A gain there of 21 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drop keeps moving. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 124 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Off the fake, Zappi. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 12. 12 more yards there and another first down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out, reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Now strong. And he'll manage to pick up about four in second down. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Second half for him to get it will wind up a first down. Two minutes remaining in this first half for football. chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Gets it into the hands of Allen on the jet sweep. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. 
Give him three on the game there. Second and goal. Gets it into the hands of Allen on the jet sweep. And he keeps finding his way into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Keenan Allen in from two yards out as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Okay, we need to double check here with Marvin because he keeps all of our good stats. But what I've got is five drives, five touchdowns, and they've got a nice, healthy lead. Well, after the first drive, we thought things might be clicking. They're really clicking at this point. They're clicking about as much as they can click. And right I just now, said click a lot. Yes, you did, but that's okay <laughs> because the guy who's coordinating the defense, trying to slow them down, Good luck. he's going to have hair that looks like mine very soon. Extra point up and good by Fulton. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Fulton now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. The New York set to take the field. Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to swing a few completions together. Rishienze, and then they walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Back to the air on second down. White. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Well, they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. And they're going to get him down well short. sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Braden Mann now. He's on one for New York. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. New England trying to get a place on offense. And not an abundance of time remains on the clock, Charles, but you would think more than enough to try to extend this lead before intermission. And when you're talking about extending the lead, I think you're talking about aiming for the end zone because there is plenty of time for that. The fallback is to get three. But in your mind, you put six on the board right before the half. That's a heck of a dagger and great momentum to carry into the locker room. Open man here, the tight end, Henry. Now the Patriots use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. one out for Evans and it'll be incomplete good job staying with him defensively and it'll bring up second down the secondary has been roasted in this first half but they get a measure of revenge there nice play on the deep ball yeah they're gonna need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back but that's one step in the proper direction and he's able to get this one down to the Timeout signal for it. They'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. And now Nick Folk, his career long, 56 yards. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57 yard attempt. And this is good from 57 yards out. touchdowns offensively hey maybe it's time to get the kicker a little work and he's able to connect there 
I love that empathetic side of you. You're worried about him getting some action, getting to be a part of the game. Well, he got in and got it done. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. No reason to do anything foolish as they'll snap it one more time on first down. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee and that should do it for half number one. So we've reached halftime here at Gillette Stadium with the Patriots on top. As we'll send you down the coast now. So I'm walking down Main Street, got an umbrella, just a torrential downpour. And I look over and this guy, stone face, wearing a poncho that says, don't rain on my parade. And he is just angry. And, uh, we got to go. I'll tell you, I'll tell you the rest later. Here we go. Third quarter. This snow front that has socked much of the East Coast not going away as we are back to it in the second half. And this will be a touchback. Barrios decided not to bring it out. Well, the Jets head out on offense here to start this third quarter. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. His throw incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here on the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and 10. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. To throw, White. Oh, into a sea of defenders have intercepted. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. And the Patriots are going to take possession of the football. They're still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start. Zappy off play action. Caught. It's the are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, to put it mildly, he's been able to dice up this secondary all game long, and this time, that was a missile that he threw into the end zone. And on for the extra point is Folk. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. A nice tidy little drive there, getting the ball in excellent field position and only one play to score it. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Taking in at the three. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The New York set to take the field. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are right, you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. Every game being a... Off play action, here's White. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. They head to the line, facing a third and seven, following the incompletion on second down. Now White. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not 
a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure you give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it will be first and ten as they take over. But now this offense comes back out onto the field. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worry with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. From the 24, Zappi. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Oftentimes when you're losing the game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete. But the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. Well, CD, that helps the home team as they try to erase this deficit, give them the penalty for pass interference on the defense. Yeah, and they certainly haven't been happy with what they've seen so far, have they? They're certainly hoping that that call now might get the fans back into this one. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine, first down. Running lanes led a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. From the 35 on second down, Zappi. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Zappi. Quickly, they get to the line. Another try after the first down sack. Zappi. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Montgomery. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get to him a little bit more here in the second half. And a good looking run there as he'll take it inside the tray and down the 10 yard line. A 10 yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Open man, the tight end, Henry. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal the tackle is made at about the five. Just picking up yardage and bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up for the first and goal. Zappi looks to throw it. There's Henry. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Patriots have got it on cruise control. Well, he has been fun to watch on the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he's absolutely a clinic on how to... And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified. So they called it a touchdown. This was a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Full connects on the extra point, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all, and it ends with a New England touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. This will be fielded inside the five, and he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. 
Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something. On second down, a run with Hall. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Let's go, let's bring it. Let's bring it. The play fake, now White. And that is incomplete. The other day they told us we have third and five or less. We have to be able to convert, and I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point, and they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Fair catch signal for and taken at about the 15-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Pats will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Well, they got to be thrilled with how they've operated so far in this one. They've got the nice lead, and now a chance to score here on three straight possessions. Yeah, and the way that they are rolling, I just don't know how they get slowed down because they certainly are operating at peak efficiency right now. They might want to think about getting some of the backups a little bit of work, though. Let some other guys get on the field and do their thing and save some of this for the next time out. Allen. Open man is Myers. And they work this well up field. A good pick up there, 22. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Rolling to his right. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now Zappi. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Uh, the quarterback got away with one there. Looked like he was in line for a pick, but instead it's knocked harmlessly to the turf. The Patriots send out their punter as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard. The starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Oh, and he's not going to make it out of the end zone. The push too strong. And that will be a safety. and the defense comes through with two points. You're exactly right, partner. This was all set up by a great punt, and if the ball goes in the end zone, this never happens. So great call. Give the punt team and the punter some love. New England's offense set to go. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still, they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Nathan Shepard in there to make the tackle. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Zappi going to bootleg out. Steps away. Zappi in trouble, and he's going down. And now they're in the hurry up. Zappi back to throw. 
That's caught by Montgomery. And he'll get this only to about the 38 as they step him a few yards shy of the line gain. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. Here's Barrios. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and the Jets will take over. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And the last time they had the football, they surrendered two points on the safety. They don't want to do that one again. No, not at all. It's almost like a bases clearing double, isn't it? Give up a couple of runs. Sure. <laughs> just, mess, just messes things up for you offensively. But now they've got to go ahead, take it, set it aside, and move forward. All again on second down. They'll say no game on play there, and now it'll be third down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Here's White. He has a man. It's complete to Wilson. And he is going to have a Jets first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. White looks to throw. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Max Crosby blowing up the play and getting the sack. Obviously, the pass rush gets the glory and the statistics on this play. But the coverage, they deserve a ton of credit, too. Denied open windows. Erase the quarterback's back targets one by one. Everywhere you look, someone was covered. Only a matter of time before someone got there to bring you down. run here second and a couple to the end, but right now they're not passing up any chances to put up some garbage time yardage. And partner, why would they? Because who knows the next time you'll be playing as well as you have today. When you're in that zone, you go ahead and take full advantage of it. You don't worry about your opponent. You just worry about what you're doing. More play action here with Zappi. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. This is the NFL, it's their job to stop them 
whether they're in the game or they're down by a handful of touchdowns. Now Zappi. And this time he's got the hookup. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 35. Again, 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. I'll tell you what, partner, the way he's been slinging in this one, I think he should be taking it for a baseball cap and a set of headphones for the next drive. He's been absolutely sensational. The one thing we've both learned about quarterbacks in this league, they often stay on the field longer than you expect. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Looking to throw, Zappi. He completes it to Henry. And it was brought down at about the 23 yard there. He's been sensational the entire game, moving it around, spreading it in the right guys. And look, under normal situations, partner, I would expect him to come out of the game now. They've got it in hand. But you and I have been around this league a long time, and every time we ask head coaches about it, hey, why don't you take your quarterback out when the game's in hand? They just kind of give us that look like situation. I'd want him out. They tend to leave him in. Throwing again on second down. Zappi. Henry's got it on the left side. He's going to be brought down at about the 16. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere. That's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left. situation and I thought he was going to get the first down the way the play developed but the defense closed in and stopped him just about a yard short. Giving to the big tight end on fourth. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down to six. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight yard pickup on fourth. Prior to that they were two for two on fourth down conversions in this ball game. Now three for three. And you've got to figure that luck's got to run out at some point, doesn't it? I will just tell you from a defense's point of view, someone has to step forward on fourth down and make a play himself because they're just letting it happen to him right now. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, big here in the fourth quarter, up really big. That pass is incompletion. I don't think they needed the completion, but Charles, this is an offense right now that they're just having fun. They're clicking on all cylinders. Yeah, you're right. They didn't need a completion. They certainly don't need any more points. But they're not going to turn them down. They're going to continue to run what they have in their playbook. And they still want to run it efficiently. Again to the tight end, Kelsey. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. Travis Kelsey. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Patriots go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Extra point up and good by Folk. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. Apart. They do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Now left side on the swing pass. To give him two yards there on the completion, and it'll be second down. Back to throw. White. came before the ball got there and the flag is thrown. Timing is everything, isn't it? And it's so hard to cover these great receivers. They have such great body control and they can fake you out. 
In this case, as you described, got there before the ball got to the receiver. Penalty flag had to come out. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Back to throw again. And they'll find Hall. And they're going to get this down near the 35 yard line. Well, a touchdown here on this drive. It wouldn't really put much of a dent in the score, the deficit right now. But as you mentioned in the past, CD, their coach is probably just hoping to see something executed correctly on this drive before we close out the ball game. Yeah, and I think that every guy who's on the field has to feel exactly the same way because if not, they might be looking Treat every drive as if it's your last and make it a successful one in some small way. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he'll be taken down about the 22-yard line. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Now White. but they'll say it's incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. The offense on third down, they've converted just twice and have had plenty of opportunities. This is third and four. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Out of the gun, it's White. He's got Wilson, and that's a Jets touchdown. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Jets get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. Now Zerline on and the extra point. And they make the score a little bit more respectable here in our final quarter of play. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And Garrett Wilson capped things off with a touchdown grab. Fields it right around the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Pats at the line ready to go. You just kind of feel for the defense right now. This deficit, they have not been able to stop them the entire game, Charles. And some hands on hips, some long faces out there on the defensive side. I'm like, oh my gosh, we got to face these guys again here. Yeah, people don't understand. You're on the side that's being dominated to keep your head up and continue to play hard. And that's what they're going through right now. Trying to find that pride inside of them to allow them to continue to fight even though they are down huge in this game. And he went, over, he went backwards, back to the 33. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Here's Zappi. He finds Aguilar over the middle. And he slips up past the 45. Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. They go to Montgomery to try to wind some clock. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on his face. And I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he's got this down to the 35. And he's 100 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and 10. That one looks like he'll throw here. 
taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. They're going to hurry back to the line now. After the sack on first down, Zappi. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance. Pad their stats, but as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. Here's Nick Folk now on for the field goal. Made his first. This now from 46 yards away. Folk's kick is good. And that will extend that lead further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Yeah, they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Now White with a first down throw. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Moore. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Here's second and five now from the 37. From the shotgun, here's White. Open man here is Conklin. Souls a timeout called here. Not sure of the point of this, but they'll stop it with four seconds to go in the game. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And the pass come up with a late turnover, but it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. love to see scoring and there was no shortage of it today what a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest partner this game was over a long time ago and you noticed they did not want to slow down anything absolutely a dream scenario for everyone on that offense and they took advantage of every second guaranteed popcorn for everyone in their film session So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long from Foxborough.
tonight from Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, Florida. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. To a Tunga Vailoa and the Miami Dolphins versus Case Keenum and the Buffalo Bills. We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Tonight we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Buffalo Bills and the Miami Dolphins. Sanders now to get this one started and we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium from his end zone Isaiah McKenzie and he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee maybe a yard shy of there at the 24 so here come the Bills on offense for the first time the former Houston Cougar, Case Keenum. Every quarterback in the NFL has a little bit of his own signature style out there, but for this guy, he really plays the game in a different way. It's led to a couple double takes from us up here as we see him as something truly unique. It's not that he's just the strongest passer or the best athlete to ever play the position. He just has a certain way of seeing the action and allows him to make some special plays out there. Here's Devin Singletary. He played in this state at Florida Atlantic. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards. No more than that. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Keenum now to throw. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he is going to have a Bills first down, I do believe. Yes, he got it by about a yard there on third and three. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. They go right back to Singletary. That strong running there as he's across midfield. And down to 49. Ten yards, good enough for first down. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you gotta like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. On first and ten, here's Keenum. Over the middle, complete. It's McKenzie. They'll wind up getting this with all the way down Inside the 20. Give him 30 yards there. Execution was one of their watchwords leading up to this one. And on that play, able to execute brilliantly here on this opening drive. Now a guy who played his high school ball at Miami Central. It's James Cook. And he'll get inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. A give up the middle to Singletary. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. The impressive opening drive continues, and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line 
as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. A quick throw, knocked away, and incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. But they took up to the task and forced the incompletion. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. Singletary again. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Buffalo. Devin Singletary punching it in from a yard away. first quarter maybe too early to talk about statement drives Charles but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there well, if we're going to talk about statement drives I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run they gave it to him early and often on this drive and he wound up taking it into the end zone after the touchdown Bath to kick it away will not be brought it's a touchback. Here is Tua Tungavailoa heading out to lead this Miami offense. You want to talk about a driven player partner. This guy is absolutely that person. He doesn't just have goals in this game. He wants to be remembered among the best to play the position, and he treats every game as an audition for that. It's a lofty goal to set for yourself. But we've seen his drive lead to some impressive games from him. Perhaps another one is in store today. Here's Tungabailoa on first and 10. Flushed out right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Charles already trailing by a touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Now Tua. He's going to drop this underneath to Mostert. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a pickup of six. Well, that's how you use your safety valve, CD. He didn't appear to be the intended target, but they got it to him, and he was able to get just enough to pick up the first. Well, what a great example of where we are right now in the NFL, because if you're a running back, you're not just going to carry it. you got to catch it out of the backfield as well. Those combo guys, they're the ones everyone wants. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Tongue of Iloa working out of the gun. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try to hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. Throw right side going to be caught here by Waddle. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 38, well shy of the first down. Call it a pickup of three, and also now likely a punt on their opening drive. And here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Tackle that time by Jerome Baker at Ohio State. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Here's Keenum. Working the middle here. That's complete to Knox, the tight end. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 
They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing now is Keenum. To. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. From the 22, Keenum. A hit as he throws there. Incomplete. We're seeing so far as the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that left. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Single Terry. They'll run for it. And this is going to come up well short as they stop him on for down. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That's the linebacker, Matt Milano, getting up and stopping him for a loss. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. To his throw, caught by his receiver, Hill. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out, hard to defend. It's a gain of five, and now the question, will the offense stay out there on fourth and one? So on fourth down, Dolphin kicker Jason Sanders comes on. And this one will be a yard attempt. The kick by Sanders is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3.
So the starting field position was terrific following the surprising over on downs, but the end result, only three points. Simply stated, I think you have to look at that as a missed opportunity. McKenzie will not return this, and it'll be brought out to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they're coming off a fourth down gamble that last drive that backfired CD, but really not as badly as it could. Their defense held up and only gave up three points. And what they want to do is play off the momentum the defense gave them, only giving up the three points in that situation after they failed on fourth down. Now they want to make it pay off. They want to pay homage to the defense and have their own drive pay off in points for themselves. Got to line up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The Bills passing game, getting him down the field. They've got another first down. Single Terry, they'll go off the middle. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Keenum's throw going to be caught by McKenzie. Touchdown! I said McKenzie. 34 yards, and they are able to add on to their advantage. Now, not only, Charles, did he beat double coverage to make the catch, and then as soon as he did, locked his gaze upfield and made sure to reach the end zone. Go grab your dictionary partner, look up determination, and his picture is going to pop right up. How about him getting through multiple defenders, finding his way through coverage, and making sure he got to the end zone? That's a big time play right Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And it culminates in a Bills touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're not too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But you'll have to remember they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. After one, a 14-3 ball game. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Looking to pass, Tua. Right back to Jalen Waddle for another catch. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. The Dolphins on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he will have a first down as they get to the ground. Three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. A lot of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Sets up to pass it. Forced out to his left. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Going to the air. Tug of Iloa. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Up 
On second down, Mostert. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Being chased out left. And he's going to come up a few yards. Brought down at the 45. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. Well, let's spotlight Devin Singletary as this offense comes back out. He's been effective so far over the 40-yard mark here in the second quarter. Don't forget about those guys up front, though. They've been effective, too. The leverage game has been in their favor. They've been the ones who have been able to bend their knees, drop their hips, and get a little bit lower than the guys on the other side of the football, and they've moved them out of the way for the runner. Sometimes that's tough for those big fellas. Not an easy thing for them to do. Keenum's throw taken in by Diggs. They'll give him four yards there, and now two yards to go on third down. Well, there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected. But sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to. So sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. The Dolphins get there this time. They bring him down. Multiple players getting home there, and it's a loss of two on the sack. Well, he was really focused down field but there was really no viable options the coverage was too good and the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football the only place he ended up down on the ground fourth down for Kano finding Knox there complete first down as they wind up with a gain of 11 there on fourth down. On the give, this is Singletary. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal, shut it down. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by Eric Rowe. And the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football. Well, look, we're watching a quarterback here that's obviously been around for a long time. That's a throw he wishes he had back. He certainly does, but as you well know, this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances, used to fitting it into tight windows. These are throws that he's made before. Didn't happen to get it completed in this case. It's forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. That's a first down pickup of eight. They'll swing this complete out to Hill. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. From the gun, a run with Moster. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. throw and he's going to be taken down plus there's a penalty flag in the back 
field. They may get 15 more on top of this. Well, that flag puts them on their heels a little bit more defensively as the officials walk it upfield. Yeah, and they can blame the officials all they want, but bottom line, it's their own fault because, to me, that was an avoidable call. Stay focused and avoid major mistakes like that. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Mostert he is not going to advance very far. He'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a They'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. The quick slant caught. Touchdown, Dolphins. Two of fighting his old Alabama teammate, Jalen Waddle. And the Dolphins have got it back to win the score. Turn out to the 27 yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Here comes another drive from this unit, and Charles are coming off a costly mistake on the last possession, an interception in a game that is very close right now. No matter what the situation, but in a one possession game, that'll hurt a little bit more. But this is an excellent opportunity to make up for it on this drive. I just don't expect him to try and take huge gambles to make up that momentum in a hurry. Keenum's throw here, take it in by Knox. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30 yard line. It'll go as a gain of four. And now it's third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third down, they go with Singletary. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. Now here's the throw right side, taken in by his tight end. A good pickup there, 26 yards. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Good, strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Keenum now on first down. That's brought in by Davis over the middle. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. That's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out. Give me a fresh ball and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. 66 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Oh, how about this call down near the goal line? And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. They'll fake the give. Now Keenum. Under pressure, down he goes. 
officials are going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in the second quarter. Three tight ends up front here. Third and goal. On play action. Now Keenum. And he's got his tight end knocks for a Bills touchdown. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. As his guys are able to extend their lead. No surprise there. Third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, he might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. And it's no good. He missed it wide to the left. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bring it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch. It's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive that lasts into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent, and that's what they're doing right now, swapping that over. just get rid of it. At this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Throwing again on second and ten. Tua. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the back. This might be a roughing call. So the incomplete pass there, but the roughing the passer call bails them out. Which means you have to stay on the field on defense longer because you've given the offense free snaps, not to mention the free yardage after that mistake. Here's a throw dropped off to his fullback. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Working with second and five now. Throwing now is Tungavailoa. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. That's a really nice job there by the coverage, understanding that they're in a high-stakes situation. If he doesn't make a play on that ball, there's an excellent chance it ends up either as a touchdown or as a nice gain downfield. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Down, you know those pass rushers, they're in the starter's block. They're just waiting for the pistol to fire. You can almost hear the defensive coaches on the sideline pre-snap. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Really good job there of identifying it and making the play to force fourth down. Sanders' kick is good. And we'll tighten this one up a bit now. One score game at 20 to 13. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know there's virtually no win. It's a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no win, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, defense held out for the field goal. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Bills offense now for one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. 
coverage. It was nearly intercepted. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll put forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. 72 yards on the ground for him so far. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. So we've reached halftime with a visiting bill taking the lead to the locker room as we send you up to Orlando. Dolphins down on the scoreboard, but they'll have it first as we get going in this third quarter. No run back here to begin the half, and we will start at the 25-yard line. First down, Miami is set to start the drive. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own. Yeah, they want to have that type of response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Golf has been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Looking to throw again on second down. Tua toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. From the gun, it's Tua. He is going to find Hill here. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. Tua setting up shot to throw again. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. Tough one there. First drive of the third quarter, throw an interception, and now a chance that they could be in even a bigger hole if they can convert this into points. Yeah, but how good do you feel if you're that defensive coordinator right now? Because you just know that the head coach looked at him and said, turn him loose, big man. And he'd be able to take a few extra chances playing with this type of a lead. And boy, he paid off. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Keenum now to throw. Staying on his feet. And bringing it in, it's Davis. And they'll get this down to the 10. 18 yards that time to push him up first and goal. On play action, it's Keenum. And he's got his tight end knocks for a Bills touchdown. zone with his second touchdown of the game and the Bills go up by two touchdowns always important to get the first score of the second half now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going and now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more right maybe they get the first score that doesn't happen it looks almost insurmountable but it's not let's see how they play the rest of the game so they only needed three plays on that drive. And it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best of the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Meanwhile, two is throws taken in by Waddle. Just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. A run with no 
Mostert up the middle. And he will have a first down. But in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the hole and run off a bunch more plays. A lot of scrimmage on first and ten. 49 to Mike, watch 49. Here's Tua. Quick slant, Tyree Hill with it. And they're going to get this up to midfield. A couple first downs right in succession, and this is an offense. They can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. From midfield, here's Tua. And throw it here, complete to the tight end. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Back to the running game with Mostert. And great blocking downfield. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. Running the counter with Mostert. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drive. some points. Second down, this is Wilson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. You've got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. just four yards, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. They'll try it now with Mostert, and boy, this is going to be close. That mark looks a little short, and he didn't get there. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down, and the Bills are going to get the football back. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy, ready to roll, looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. And, oh, he's unable. Defensively, a potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he is going to have a Bills first down. At least it would appear that way. He didn't get it by much, but yes, they do get the conversion on third and one. <laughs> to throw is Keenum. He's got and he'll go down, but not before he gets this inside the 30. 36 yards on the play. That's a real nice job right there, working the middle of the field, working against those safeties. And you know, partner, if you get your hips turned the wrong way, big plays can result. And a big play resulted right there. On first down, it's Keenum. He's got have moved out in front by three touchdowns and on that one able to catch it also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score and how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of a play look the ball in secure the catch and then of course the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone 
Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. So drive span five plays. And it's finished off by the touchdown by Stephon Diggs. And he'll just hit on this one as their drive will start 25. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, they have a chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. On the handoff, this is Mostert. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. Somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Two and now on first down. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. And now whistles and a flag. And I think we got a jump here. Jumping all the way from the outside, maybe getting a little early start in the corner blitz. And the only time it makes sense to get that penalty is exactly as you described. Otherwise, he should never get that penalty. Two and now on first down. Open man is Waddle complete. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. They run out of the shotgun with most. And this time not to the 30. He'll be down at the 31-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Wilson with a first down carry. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. On target over the middle to Hill. He's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. now as they get set to take over here. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. A 
Throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. He'll go at the 49. A well executed 22 yard gain. Here's Keenum to throw. There's Stephon Diggs for the catch on the slant. They're going to get this down near the 35 yard line. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. A give up the middle to Singletary. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. 105 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, Keenum. And Diggs has it. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. One quarter of eight here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL. And it's on EA Sports. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Singletary. But he won't get too far. Maybe a yard. That's all. Down to the two. Only a yard that time. Second and goal. Good work there. Holding him out on first down. And this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two? Maybe even three more plays. Singletary again. And he takes it in across the chalk for a Bills touchdown. Devin Singletary. Second touchdown of the night. And the Bills have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns to 21. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection, so now defensively, You've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting. Oh, and Tua going to be intercepted for the third time. This time by Micah Hyde. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. That interception may be the exclamation mark on what really all around has been a good performance. A fantastic performance. They will enjoy film session. Their grade should be very good on this one. And I think the next time the offense gets the ball, I just think about running it and getting the clock done and getting the heck out of here. And by the way, semantics here, but before the grammar police come after me, I think it's exclamation point, not mark, right? You're asking me? Seriously? Yeah, you're smarter than me. Everybody I, knows that. Listen, I go with what you say, my man. <laughs> Gain there of 21 yards. From down at 
12, it's first and 10. Terry, they'll go up the middle. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Good gain there on first down. It keeps him in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him, ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They're in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. They'll fake the handoff. Now Keenum sliding out of the pocket. So no sack. He gets back to the line of scrimmage. But it will still bring up the fourth down. Late in the game, he's certainly doing everything in his power to buy time for his guys to make a play. But in this case, he's surrounded. And all he has room to do is to get back to the line of scrimmage. The kick by pass is good. And the Bills will add on to their lead. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute. They want their opportunity. Seized his. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. So they get the INT. Now here's Keenum. And incomplete on the deep ball. I think it's fairly safe to call this game over, but they're still trying to bomb it downfield and add to their lead. Almost makes you start to feel for the defense and root for them a little bit, too. To throw again on second down, Keenum. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Hang on, third down. The chance of wasting this great starting field position. A real threat. This is third and long. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 127 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. To throw, it's Keenum. And he's going to go down. He's sat back at the 24. Christian Wilkins able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. To try again after the sack, Keenum. Throwing left side, it's complete. Second touchdown of the night. And the Bills have sewn this one up as they add to their lead here in the fourth. Bass on for the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their lead. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it culminates in a Bills touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. First down, Miami, as they get set to start the drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several. And now here is another interception. Teron Johnson able to pick it, and the Bills are going to possession of the football. Well, they've got the 
huge lead. Now they have another interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road. And they still win one of their best efforts of the season. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Second down and three. Play action. Now it's Keenum. That's to Cook out of the backfield. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. A five-yard gain there makes it first and goal. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. In this case, he picks up a first down. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to four. Second and goal from inside the five. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game and seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it out. So they'll get nothing out of that play. And that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. Kick by Bass is good. And the Bills will add on to their lead. Well, they come through with three after forcing the turnover. I mean, but CD, second half, you're starting inside the red zone. Obviously, they would have liked six out of that. Absolutely, because that's all you're thinking is how do you get it into the end zone? You want the field goal to be the last resort? In this case, they gave it a good try. But did have to settle for three. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And finally, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the makers. That was a nicely run slant route and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. Now, fourth quarter, certainly not enough time for a comeback, but nice to see them making use of the time remaining to try and make this one a little more respectable. Yeah, I think the ultimate goal, here we go. Here we go. good execution, be crisp, be sharp, and find a way to put some points on the board to make this thing look just a little bit better. Now this one complete on the slant route. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line was given up but that's why you play zone defense so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught and you don't give up much run after the catch and again it's Tunga Bailoa and his throw here is incomplete we've talked about it CD but it bears repeating and they are struggling to throw the football all the interceptions and more incompletions it just doesn't look like things are in sync out there I would agree with that and it's and my goodness another Interception. And the Bills are going to get the football here at their own 23. CD, this defense, man, at this rate, they're just having fun out there right now. And normally with this type of a lead, if you're a starter on defense, you're saying, hey, let the other guys play. But with this going on, no one wants to come out of the game. They all want their shot at picking off the pass. And nothing much. 
much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now a play fake, and it's Keenum. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So he gets too far beyond the line, and that's an easy call for the official. To throw on second down is Keenum. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he stops right at the 25 after a gain of five. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Throwing is Keenum on third down. They completes it. The tight end knocks. Have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down. It will. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. On first and 10, here's Keenum. He's got a man. It's his fullback. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. 10 more there and another first down. Just two minutes from fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Keenum. And he fins him off. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked up by Javon Holland. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here at their own 33. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Well, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is end the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum. And now here is another interception. Tredavious White with a pick. And he is going to score. It's a pick six. offense and certainly a signal caller Charles that's thrown all these interceptions another one there and this one take it all the way back for the score partner hoping they're holding a nice little spot in the post game highlights to show this rip of interceptions and great plays this group has made I've been on it from snap one the extra point by Bass up and good and this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead so they throw the pick six they'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went today coaching playing the whole deal and never forget it because you're not going to want that feeling you don't want that feeling again who knows you may meet up with this team again two of his alabama teammate waddle first down miami tua sets up to pass it and my goodness another take possession of the football yet another mistake after the interception there gosh you look up at the scoreboard they just got to be thinking this one cannot get over fast enough it certainly can't and also what happens when you get this big of a deficit you're supposed to make all the right throws right you're supposed to try and obviously and for the fourth time tonight it's an interception picked up by eric rowe and the are going to 
will take over at their own two-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where just walking that line of being calm and really being firm with this team. Add one, tell me once, you know, when we're having a tough patch, this two shall pass, this two shall pass. And if I, we kept having a rough patch, he said, but you got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. He's got a man complete. 20. So they hit pay dirt, but don't count it yet. There's laundry on the field. We'll see what the penalty flag is about. And they will elect to decline the penalty. Everything turned out the way they wanted it to. No sense in even having to take that one. Hence the decline. Well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels, and that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Yeah, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Taking in at the three. this out to the 25. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Well, they don't need to score here, that's for sure. They could just kneel it. They've got the huge lead late fourth quarter, but we'll see how they're feeling, Charles. Yeah, we all know people out there who like to use every second of the clock, no matter what the score. And we know they don't need the points. They've scored an abundance already. Let's find out how they want to finish this ball game. Under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And, Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out.